Welcome home. We are WNST, AM 1570, Towson, Baltimore. We're BaltimorePositive.com. We've got a big, big week uh, ahead here. Obviously, a lot of baseball, a lot of football. Luke and I have been after that. Uh, our friends at the Maryland Lottery are powering us up. Yes, I have the Raven scratch-offs now. Uh, we will have these at Costas on Friday. Um, we're going to get together in the afternoon about 2 to 5. Uh, convene there, probably have a little crab soup. Certainly going to be having the oysters. Rockefeller, uh, I've been doing oysters each and every day. I'm about 18 days into this now, 19 days into it. Uh, we're doing 26 oysters in 26 days, 26 ways uh, for the Oyster Recovery Partnership. And on Thursday, we'll be at the B&O Railroad Museum. You'll get to hear next week on the air a whole bunch of uh, oyster farmers talking about oystering. And I've just had the most unique French onion oysters and crab ceviche oysters and oyster fritters and oyster benedicts and um, no deviled eggs oysters. I don't do that. Uh, our friends at Liberty Pure Solutions have put us out on the road on this crazy oyster adventure. Uh, 1-800-CLEAN-WATER. If you have well water, you need cleaner water. You need people like Liberty Pure, much like the oysters help clean the bay. Liberty Pure can help clean your water. Our friends at Jiffy Lou power us up, put us back and forth, as well as Royal Farms, uh, to and from Owings Mills in downtown. But somewhere between Owings Mills in downtown, there's a there's a little golf course it sits at. I call it East Woodlawn, uh, near Gwen Oak. Uh, yeah. They're one of our partners, the Classic, uh, the classic Five uh, golf courses around the area. This guy's at Forest Park. Yeah, he'll teach you some golf. He'll play some golf. We're going to talk some President's uh, Cup this weekend. And uh, he is a PGA pro. But he's got Oriole fever and raving concerns, kind of like every other Baltimorean around here. R.J. Shepard, yes. Rich Shepard joins us. Uh, welcome morning. back into the cockpit. Uh, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Glad to be back. Glad to be back. Well, I appreciate you. I mean, you do you got a sweatshirt on, right? I mean, we got sweatshirt oh, yeah. golf, yeah, now, right? Yeah. Like 58 yeah. degrees this morning. I mean, it's all hot and sunny. When we so fall golf. You guys never put the club down, do you? No, this is a great time to play. Nice and cool. It's not too hot. You know, sun's not beaming on you. You could put on a light jacket and you know, hopefully by the afternoon you can maybe take it off. Gets up to 70, nice cool 70, 75. Dude, that's uh, a good a looking jacket. Hold, hold, oh, yeah. I, I, I feel, these, yeah. hold on, I feel like Forest I feel Park. like Fast Times at Ridgemont. Stu, yeah. that jacket, that's awesome. Yeah. We got these in the golf shop, so come see us. Yep. That's very, very yeah. bucolic. It uh, almost looks got like it from the, Adidas, Adidas jacket. Yeah. You sure uh, those trees are from Banff National Park out in Western Canada? It looks that way. It looks like. <laughs> nope, Forest Park, right out here. <laughs> What's going on? The city kids There's are some back. Old trees school. out here. Well, to, yeah, to, yep, to quote a yep. Jimmy Buffett song, the, the kids are back at school. Um, we'll do President's Cup and the Pro Tour and, like, all okay. that's going on with that. And you've had a nice year. I know you've um, you've gone and seen some good golf as well this year. Um, for you and for when it, the course this time of the year, especially when the weather changes a little bit, kids mm -hmm. are back at school, your yeah. priorities change a little bit, right? I mean, and I think people that golf – that like the golf and like to come out or watching president's cup this week. This is like when it's comfortable, like pumpkin spice, a little, you know, apple cider, donut, cup of coffee. This is like when it's pleasant, I think to, if to be outside doing anything. Yeah. I mean, like I said earlier, it's not too hot. You don't have, you don't have to put on a bunch of sunscreen and, you know, worry about the sun beaming on you. It's a nice, cool, you know, 65, 70, put on a light jacket um, and enjoy your round. You know, right now, today, so overcast, you know, it hasn't rained yet. So um, we got some people going out right now and uh, enjoying the conditions. We just overseeded our fairways. Um, so they're they're going to grow in. That's to keep it green throughout the fall and winter months. Um, so keep it looking nice. And, you know, it, it uh, lets the turf recover. You know how you take a divot off of the fairways. The overseeding will help it recover faster. Uh, hopefully people are uh, – repair you know fixing their divots putting the putting the turf back putting the sand on it um so that'll help it recover faster so we're looking good looking green the, the rain has actually helped the grass grow in nice and green and lush so we're looking good right now come out and see it you hitting them straight I mean, how often do you play as a pro uh i'm playing a lot now uh i try to play every evening um you know at least nine holes and just do something with the club how long does it take you to play nine uh if it's not busy i can play in an hour Less wow. than an hour. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yep. That's almost like hopefully, putt putt. I, I can't get in Ocean green. City and get that, you know? So hopefully it's fairways and green. So, yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on how you hit the ball. Uh, RJ mm -hmm. Shepard's our guest. He is the golf pro over at Forest Park on behalf of uh, uh, Classic Five Golf. They're all, uh, you know, around the area. Uh, we, we talk about uh, Mount Pleasant. We talk about our friends at Pine Ridge, and I'm going to be mm -hmm. doing a little number with them a little later on. 
you have you're in West Baltimore. You're in an area and um you know, I don't know how many African Americans play golf in America percentage wise versus this yeah. or that or yeah. what, female versus female, young versus old, but you're in an interesting place and it, I find you to be a fascinating character in a lot of ways because of your love of sports and I see your family yeah. we're Facebook friends in the real world, but yes. when kids go back to school this time of year and you've taught them some golf in the summer yeah. And look, they can get a basketball right now, soccer ball, you know, whatever. Football, yeah. Football, yep. of course, I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So, right? So do you see them on weekend? I mean, it, it almost feels like if you're playing a guitar all summer, you just put it down. Months later, you have to love the guitar to pick it back up, golf club, whatever, and to get out on a weekend. Because I know you, you're really trying to make young people love your game. It's not my yes. game either. I'm, not, I'm the outside. I talk to you about that all, all the time. You know, I didn't grow up in a golf. I was more of a tennis racket kid as That's far right, as right. – and I played, ice, I played ice hockey and roller hockey. So I, I did weird stuff, but mm-hmm. I was baseball, football, basketball like every other kid in Baltimore, and it was available. You've made golf available – to people that maybe wouldn't have the availability. I didn't feel like I had the availability as a kid in Dundalk. I've told you. Yeah, we just have to adjust. Um, you know, you know, the summer, you know, it's for the camps, you know, the full day camps. But now we just have to adjust. You know, kids are in school. So uh, we do what's called a fall PGA Junior League program where uh, we have practices on Friday evenings, um, Friday evenings after school, uh, five o'clock. They come out, we practice. And then we actually do matches on Saturday afternoons. You know, they're free on the weekends. Um, so we do matches on Saturdays. So it's twice a week, PJ junior league. We got about 20, 25 kids uh, for the fall session. Um, so we're having a good time. We're three weeks in, um, you know, it's great to have the family come out on Saturday and watch their kids play on the course. It's just, it's great to see the parents come out, they grab a cart and they're riding with the kids. Kids can't ride though. I'll make them walk, you know, makes them tough, but, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> Makes them tough because, you know, going through the junior golf ranks, you're not going to get a car. You know, you're not old enough to drive. You know, you don't have a license. You have to be 18 in Maryland to actually drive a golf golf cart. Uh, even if you have a license, say you're 16 and I have a license. See, you are teaching me stuff. So that's why yeah, I have you yeah, on. I don't know yeah. this. You have to be 18 and it's with our insurance. You have to be 18 to actually drive the golf cart. So um, they got to get used to it. Got to get used to walking. It's good for your health. You know, it's good good physically so be, you make me laugh right. because i did the show this week and i was in the car listening to it and i encourage everybody to set a place on your dial if you enjoy our shows mm-hmm. uh, i had chad weasling on uh, who's a local nfl agent he's the agent for josh jacobs he lives down in canada oh, wow. had him okay. on with uh, with dave shinen from the washington post who just got back from the olympics and dave's covered baseball for 30 I mean, these these are like serious people you know what i mean yeah. weasling yeah. played at maryland whatever so we you know we got to talking a little bit about young players and him being an agent. And he told me that when Josh Jacobs was 20 years old and like he was trying to train him and get him ready for the draft, mm-hmm. he couldn't rent a car because <laughs> he wasn't old <laughs> yeah. enough to rent a car. Right. Exactly. Yep. So he's yep. like trying to get him into these training academies yep. in Phoenix where they all lift weights and they get ready for the draft and all that. He's like, he couldn't rent a car. Let's, you know, that's how young these people are. Think the yeah. same thing about Jackson holiday. Right. Or, yes. you know, yep. these yep. young players. So. All right. So listen, we'll talk some golf. I'll get some presidents cup in here. Uh, RJ okay. Shepard, Richard Shepard Jr. joins us uh, from Forest Park Golf. They're right out. Uh, I call it East Woodlawn, West Baltimore, yeah. Gwinnell, Gwinnell, wherever you yeah. are. Yeah. You're yeah. right around the corner from my buddy, Alan McCallum, who lives with like in Lockern, right off of uh, Milford Mill. And, and oh, yeah. uh, he's Liberty right, Park, the street. Liberty, Liberty, yep. right. Right around the corner. I thought of you yeah. when I was over there. We did a movie night. Me, him, and Max Weiss did a movie night. So I'm like, I'm right around the corner. So uh, but I don't do watch? Not, I'm East Baltimore. I don't come. Oh, we we watched the classic. Uh, I don't ever watch movies, just so you know. So it was like a, sort of an inside joke. Um, okay. Max Weiss is the movie queen. Alan is the movie king. They've seen every movie for a hundred years, like and have. They're like Siskel and Ebert when I sit with them. They really are. It's like I love having them on the show in that way. But I see maybe a movie every two or three years. I just don't. I, I do other things. I create yeah. things. I, you know, just, I don't enjoy it that much being passive. When I do, I drive my wife nuts. Cause I stop and start it and want to talk about it in the middle. And she's like, no, <laughs> we just watch the movie. I'm like, well, then I don't want to watch it. I, I don't want to sit here on my mouth and watch this and then like go to bed. Like yeah. if I'm not going to discuss it, if it has no value, like, so anyway, this movie had, well, this movie had some value. Are you familiar with the 1976 classic? And it did win some Oscars shampoo uh, before my time. See, I knew that Before about my you. time. Yeah. Warren Beatty, Julie Christie, uh, 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 Jack Warden, um, Carrie Fisher in her first ever role. Um, 
it's a sexed up 1970s farce. Uh, Uh, yeah, it's that. So Goldie Hawn in her prime, if you know what I'm saying. It's been 50 years and I still got a crush on Julie Christie. She's 84, but that's a, that's okay. <laughs> um, so anyway, back, that's your neighborhood. Yeah, back to yeah, sports, yeah. dude. Give me Orioles and Ravens. I, you're like a really big fan yes. of both. Uh, where, where are you? This is a messy week, right? I mean, knowing what's ahead next week for baseball, that it could end at any point where we are with football right now. The bills look good the other night. Like this is, I told a friend of mine who doesn't yeah. know anything about sports. I'm like, this is kind of the biggest week or two of the year. Like things are going to happen in the next couple of weeks that are going to set the civic mood. Yeah. The Ravens still have some time at least, but Orioles definitely got to, we got to finish strong here. Um, got to finish strong. I know we got the Yankees coming up, I believe. Um, See, I'm a, of the mind that these games don't matter this week. But, to me, yeah, they got to play well in game one next week. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to win a division, but, um, you know, just going strong, going to the wild card. Could be a benefit to us because last year we were riding high for number one seed. And now this year we might be we might be scrapping to get in. But um, is golf that way for pros? They put the club down three days and they forget how to swing. I mean, the ball doesn't move. I don't want to insult your game as a yeah. baseball and a tennis guy, but your ball doesn't move. But no. like I, I would think the, the thing, the thing if that I played goal- a lot of golf, a couple days off probably would help clear my head, honestly, if I were Tiger it- Woods. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it eases your mind. But the thing that goes when you kind of take some time off is the touch and the feel, you know, with those short game shots, you know, your putting, your chipping. That's what kind of leaves you when you put the club down for a while. You kind of have to regain that touch and feel around the greens. That's that's the main thing. But your swing kind of – your swing doesn't change that much at, at, at our level, but um, this touch and feel around the greens is the big thing. You got to recalibrate that, I say. Yep. I want Grayson Rodriguez to recalibrate that this week too. For Forty-eight pitches next Wednesday to close this thing down, you know, and move on. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, it has been such a fun time for sports, but it is. We woke up last week, zero and two. Orioles couldn't win, couldn't hit the ball out of the infield. I mean, I, what I've said to everyone, and I've had a lot of people on this month in different ways, but not everybody was Baltimore centric or into the both of the teams and the way they are. I said yeah. last week, I'm like, this was supposed to be fun. Like, I waited all summer for football to start. I waited all summer for the playoffs to get going. It was fun back in May and June, walk-offs, playing 620 baseball. Like, right? I mean, and now Now all of a sudden it's like, now I'm starting to pee my pants a little bit. Like all (laughs) of us, right? Yeah, hopefully the Ravens uh, found something last week. Uh, A tough finish we had. But, you know, at least we closed it out. I mean, I think Dallas went 19-0 in the fourth, so that was kind of tough. But uh, at least we still got the win. Big game this Sunday night. Uh, Buffalo's coming into town. Uh, all black. I just want to think that the Jaguars black, stink. So. I don't want to think that the Bills were as good as they that's looked. What they, that's what I'm. That's what I'm hoping. They look. They look great. They look great. Um, Josh Allen. He's he's a beast. Uh, so hopefully Lamar can uh, negate negate his talent. So it'll be a great game. Dinner. I can't wait to see. I went to dinner with Marvin Lewis uh, night before the game. Here he's the assistant associate. He, I don't even think he knows his title um, of, of the, Raiders. Buffalo? No, oh, Raiders, the Raiders. No, Raiders. Okay. He, he worked okay. with Antonio Pierce out there, uh, okay. AP. Hmm. And, you know, I had dinner with him and I made a few references to probably that his team stunk. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I felt about it. And he, you know, he's been doing this a long time. He knows what he is and what he isn't and where Gardner Minshew is and whatnot. And I thought they stunk. And then they went out and kicked our ass. Yeah. And then I thought, well, maybe they're pretty good. And then they lost to the worst team on the continent. They lost to Andy Dalton, who Marvin knows pretty well. So, like, three weeks into this, I think Buffalo's good. I know Kansas City's good. I mean, I I know they're both good. At one and two, I don't know what the Ravens are, but at one and three, I know what they're going to be. If they lose, they're one and three. Pittsburgh's three and oh right now, so we got to kind of keep pace with them. Cincinnati Um, looks like what's going on there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, th- I think it's just going to be us and the Steelers fighting for the North this year. So, yeah, we got to keep pace. Well, I know you're not watching gotta any baseball pace. this weekend. With, you know, Orioles in Minnesota and the Ravens. you got college football. That, because this this huge thing's going on in golf. And uh, you're going to yeah. be here to give us a preview. R.J. Shepard is our guest. He is, uh, he is the golf pro, the PGA pro. We like to throw that in there uh, yes. over Forest Park. Uh, he works with kids, works with adults, kids of all ages, uh, and uh, gets folks out onto the course. And uh, they, you did go to Augusta this year, right? You correct in saying that? No, 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 I did not. I wish. Where did I you – you did something cool this year, didn't you, with your PGA card? You said you, you – you, didn't you do something uh, neat? I went to St. Lucia and played golf. <laughs> 
I think maybe that's what I saw. I saw you. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. I saw you playing we're Facebook yeah. friends. So I went I to St. Lucia. I went to St. Lucia and played uh, a buddy of mine who went to school with me, also a PGA member. He went to Eastern Shore, Maryland Eastern Shore with me. Uh, he works in St. Lucia. He's from St. Lucia. They just built a amazing course out there. Uh, Cabin St. Lucia, right off the ocean. It's, it was beautiful. He uh, built me up out there. So How do you concentrate um, on golf like that when you're on an island? I mean, it's tough, but it's the, the views are immaculate. Well, you love immaculate. golf. He loves yeah. golf. The President's yeah. Cup's going on this weekend in Montreal. Um, you know, yeah. a lot of folks that are outside of the, the golf space see these um and i'll just give you an example tiger versus phil for all the money uh and then you know there's a confusion i think outside of golf other than the majors and other than fedex you know like right. residence cup right you know, there, there's all sorts of cups that happen every two years four years we're all familiar with that tell everybody what the president's cup's about when you try to explain this to your little one that's trying to understand the wild card standings trying to <laughs> try, try to I, hey tell tell your kid i'm trying to understand the nil and oh, uh, my man. wife awesome. asked me we were at a cooper's tavern two weeks ago watching watching college sports like uh, there was games on and mm -hmm. she's like what does nil stand for and i said not interested in learning so, uh, so, but nonetheless, I, we're all getting educated, but president's cups, one of those things comes around. It's a big deal in the golf world for folks like you and everybody gets involved and it is us and them and Europeans yeah, and yeah, Americans. Yeah. It's a whole yeah. thing. So, uh, it's one of the team events we have, uh, the bigger known one is the Ryder cup, which is USA versus Europe. Uh, so that was last year. Uh, so this year it's USA versus the world except for Europe. Right. So, <laughs> um, it's held in Canada, so we're on the road this year. So the Europeans the take this week off; they just don't play. Yes, correct? They, yeah, they okay. just they just take off. Um, well, you and I were discussing needing some downtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the funny thing is, the Europe actually has been dominating us in the Ryder Cup recently, but in this Presidents Cup this week, we have been dominating. I mean, this is the fifteen one, the fifteenth event. We're twelve one and one, but we've only lost once. What are we trying to prove by eliminating Europe? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, it's like we well, have the biggest economy in the world. If you don't count China, <laughs> it's like, what? They're here too. You well, know what I mean? I guess, I guess Europe has enough players to have their own team. So this is the international team, excluding Europe. You got your Japanese players, Canadian players, uh, a lot of Australian players. Korean Jason players. Kim. I mean, Co yeah. Korean, Si sure. Kim, Min Woo Lee. Um, so Korean yeah, we're women the the world. dominate golf, correct? Correct. Yeah, I mean, it's right. so women's, it may be a different story, but <laughs> I remember getting off the plane in um, in Beijing, China, getting off the plane in Tokyo, getting off the plane in Seoul. And, yeah. you know, you've been flying 14 hours, you land, you're in the airport and you look around and you're like, all right, what do I recognize? You know, mm -hmm. and there's plenty of stuff. For anybody that's never been to Asia, go. It's the greatest thing ever. Go play golf over there, dude. Yeah, that's on my fun. list. That's on my list. Yeah, yeah. It should be. It should be. Yeah. So, but golf and the other things really the nba probably because i landed in china when yao ming you know what i mean and oh, yeah. but but tiger tennis to some degree you know is ubiquitous unlike cricket and squash and all these you know things that we don't know much about around here but golf is this thing that is like soccer you know soccer is another thing you would recognize and global, see in other global. places yeah. but when i'm in asia the first thing i see is golf i yeah. from a sports perspective tiger and golf. I mean, golf in Asia is just huge. So to say that, well, they get the Asian countries. Well, you get the base of the world's population. Indian golfers, Australian, right? New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. South African. I mean, That's right? I mean, correct. real yep. powers in the world at, at, at your game. Yeah. Well, well, they, they have they have good golfers there. But the U.S., I mean, we're strong. We have eight of the top 15 ranked players. Uh, the international team. They're called the international team. They only have one one of the top 15, which is Hideki Matsuyama. He's uh, he's a, Jap a Japanese player. Um, so if you're one seen. of these traders taking all the money from the Saudi Arabians, do you get to play? Are they? Do you get, in, to, do you get to play? No, no, no. The, 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 the live people are, throw, are, are out of this, right? They're out. They're That's out. why I want to make sure. This is where yeah. the confusion comes. I didn't Google this, yeah. dude, clearly, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. I am, you know, I'm – I'm a real patriot, and I don't mind saying that in the election season. Um, that taking blood money and and, um, and standing for that is just something that I I'm, I'm going to oppose. And all yeah. that being said, 
you know, I'm ever for everybody making their coin in a capitalist society, but um, morals. I think it's, yeah, morals too. Yeah. But I think it's torn your sport apart, and I, that that's what yes, breaks yes. me yeah. for you in West Baltimore, trying to get people interested in your game. And I promote classic fight, and you know, and I completely respect everything about your game and the people playing it and how to yeah. play it. And I've played it, and it, but the professional part of it. Look, it's bad enough the NFL can't get their officiating right, right? You know, the gambling, <laughs> whatever the issues you would have about sports and about all of it, the golf thing to me is the most egregiously wild thing that has happened in modern times that we're all trying to recognize and trying yeah, to say. Yeah, because at least, at, least at least you know in the other sports, you're getting the top of the, the, the cream of the crop, right? But now in golf, it's like, oh, some of the best are over here and you're not playing the best players over there. So it's just it's just weird for, for a lot of people. Um live is I think it's on WB now on the weekends. I, I checked it out. They Nobody's watching that. it though. Like yeah, that's I just, yeah, right. yeah. No one's watching it. So they gotta figure something out. We're they're trying to do this. Well, they don't need the money. That's the thing. That right. you at the at the at the right. end of it, it's not it's not about television ratings and being a legitimate business. Right. They got their money. Right, right. You're right. <laughs> Yeah, I right, mean, like, so. the, 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 it's not – they don't operate the same way that your, uh, your municipal golf courses operate or my little AM rate. It's just – so that's the hardest part of it is the money has superseded the dignity of it right. um, and really the spirit of – Competition. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. Well, what people <laughs> will be – will want to um, – watch and view yeah. and participate in as viewers and fans, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is really the ecosystem that supports your whole sport, right? Yeah. So hopefully they can figure out some type of merger uh, going forward. They're, they're still talking about that, but. Um, so who are the Americans that won't be playing just so I'm, cause I'm literally uh, getting educated. Brooks, 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 Kepka's, uh, Brooks Kepka's not playing. Uh, Bryson DeChambeau not playing. Who won the, who won the U S open this year, beat Rory out. Um, so, we, so, so the we, U.S. You know, is playing hand, you know, with one hand behind their back a little bit too, despite correct, correct. But we still got Scotty, who's who's unbelievable. Scotty Scheffler, number one player in the world, he is on a tear. Um, so we have and, and Xander Schauffele. So we got the top two in the world. They'll probably be carrying our team. So how does the we're team? How do we're team rules work? Explain explain the team aspect of the President's Cup to me, RJ. Yeah, so it's match play. Um, so it's match play. They have different formats. So. One format is best ball. So say me and you, me and you are in a team against another two players, right? We you get a three on the hole, I get a four. So we go of you your score, and say they both had a four. See, I like that. That's like club. Yeah. That's the way I play golf yeah. when we hit a round, yeah. right? Yeah. So we take your score, and now another format is alternate shot, which is a little more difficult. So say you hit the tee shot, then I would then have to hit the second shot. And then, then you hit the next shot, so it's alternate shot. Oh, but we're a team. We're a team in that aspect. Uh, in that aspect, that's as a well. true team. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're costing <laughs> me, Slim. What are you doing? Right. You can get some uh, attention on that one. See, but, I would uh, tell you right now, you and I play as a tandem the first way. We take your ball every time. We we have a right, chance. Right, right, right. You and me play the other way. It's okay. Just keep it in play for me, Ness. Just keep it Unless in play. Unless we're playing against Potsy or somebody. I don't know. You know, somebody that sucks. <laughs> RJ Shepard is here. He is over at Forest Park. Wait, wait one more thing. So Go on ahead. Sunday, on Sundays, singles match. So it's 1v1, and you just earn a point for your team. So it's 1v1, but you earn, a, you earn a point or a half a point if you tie for your team. So that's how the team aspect is on Sunday. Yeah. The reason I even bring this up is anybody's this far into the segment or they're listening in the car and they're like <laughs> president's cup golf and they're not watching football, but you know what, if they're into it, my yeah. wife, and I've told you this, I've told all of you classified folks about this stuff, you know, um, my wife likes golf and like, there is a time where I will walk in and golf will just be on. And mm -hmm. this is how I know the Korean women dominate golf because sometimes it's to put the women on. She like yeah. my wife likes sports and she's not married to it in the modern era. Like I have to have a rooting interest. I have to like the sport. I've been doing this my whole life. Like there's a point where I'm just sort of like enough's enough. I'm 56. I only am interested in what I'm interested in these days. Right. right? right. Same thing with music. Same thing with everything. Right. I, I feel like my, my, my ticker's ticking and I, you know, but my wife really likes golf on TV and she put it on. With this tournament, if she puts it on, she have to try to figure out like what's going on. Scoring, right, right. right. I mean, and right, I think right. that that's part of when they do these weird things. Like, all right, now what are the rules again? Yeah, because you know, this, 
golf's not usually a team event, but this, the, you know, these few weeks it is, you know, these biannual events we have. Well, that's why I brought you on because I got to learn stuff around. And it's here. patriotic. It was patriotic for us, you know. We want we want the USA to win and and conquer. So, hopefully, we do it again. So we beat everybody but Europe. That's that's fine. I'm going to go to Europe at some Europe, point soon. Visit yeah, with them. Yeah, they got a they got a good team. Tell everybody <laughs> how to find now, you. Now go here's ahead. the thing. Next year, the Ryder Cup is in New York. Beth Page Black next year is the Ryder Cup, USA versus Europe. I'm gonna definitely try to ride, get up there and and check it out. So all right, well, good. Yep. So yeah. <laughs> you, you will be watching all weekend. You're that guy. You're oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good, I good, have football. Good. I have you know, I have two TVs, so I have football on one, a little President's Cup on the other. Well, you know, hopefully the Orioles have this thing wrapped up by, like, Saturday or Sunday, and they're just, you know, I'm yeah. calling it fall training. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, next Tuesday, I'll be following you out on Facebook. Richard Shepard joins us here. He is at Forest uh, Park Golf. Uh, they're part of our Classic Five. So give me the whole – um, deal for you this fall and, and tell everybody like if they want to come out and play golf how they do that with you they want to have a little fun yeah, yeah. Uh, come on out uh, book tee times online or give us a call uh, 410 oh sorry 410-448-4653 um, is our phone number or you can find us online classic5golf.com uh, got you know we're giving lessons here we got some outings coming up this is a good outing time of the year good weather so your corporate outings your church outings uh fundraising tournaments um we got discounts in the golf shop good good swag uh get your jackets for the fall and uh come out learn some golf have some fun and uh get it in before it gets too cold but we'll open year round so i put this ad on google so i can remember it mount pleasant pine ridge clifton park forest park and carroll park last time we were on I forgot about Forest Park and I had to get corrected. So, oh. uh, you know, I don't want to do that. Oh, I, there's on, five. That's... Well, I had to get them. What <laughs> I do is I'm geographic. So I think yes, about, yes. all right. You're East, East Baltimore guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is part of this. It, like, so I'm going to apologize to you in front of you instead of no, behind okay. your back. <laughs> so here, okay. so Mount Pleasant, I always went to because the Skipjacks used to train there. There's an ice rink there. You know, when at first yes, time I ever yes, met yes, Gene Ubriaco yep. was there. Mm-hmm. Pine Ridge is out in the woods with the simulators, and it's up in the hill. And I and I live uh, and and I work up near the the resort. So it's, that's mm-hmm. that's golf course close to home for me. Okay. Clifton Park, I used to go through on the 22 bus going to Memorial Stadium. That was the golf course of my childhood. It was the only golf course I'd ever seen in my life, like literally that's until the, I was 18 that, years that old. Was the, that's our first one. That's our most historic. So, right. I mean, course. that's yeah. – I. I the yeah. bus would go cut the – sometimes the balls would be rolling through, you know. I always, like, want a duck on the bus because of my dad. So – and then Carroll Park is, like, you know, Downtown. that's South Baltimore. Yeah. It's a shorter yeah. track. It's right in front yeah. of where I get these fantastic lottery tickets, Maryland Lottery Headquarters yep. in front of the Go yep. Wars building. Yep. But Forest Park's, like, in West Baltimore, and it's, like, yeah. I, it wasn't on my bus line, and I didn't go through, and it's Gwen. Yeah. So – I'm just saying, I'm going to come out and visit with you one day just to let you know would, that I come I to West Baltimore. I would right? love that. I would love that. So our next movie, since you you young kids, and this will be good for you in politics. This will play right into your live golf thing, okay? The okay. next film we're seeing, Max and I and Alan, this is going to be our fall presentation after baseball season's over because we're all okay. preoccupied with the orders. Yeah. yeah. The movie Network. Network. Uh, 1976. Um, okay. It was remade on Broadway about seven or eight years ago. My wife and I went up and saw Brian Cranston do it. It was one of the mm-hmm. most – I've been to 27 Super Bowls. I've been to World Series. I've been to wow. World Cups. I've been to a lot of cool things. Yeah. Seeing Network on Broadway, in a, you know, seeing a real Broadway show, and I've seen several Broadway shows, but this one particularly because it was a play. It had no singing, no dancing. You know, no, it wasn't – it was a play. I was blown away by it. It, it was one of the – it's in my list of top 100 cool things I've done. So network okay. movie, 1976. If you want to come over and watch that, write that down. If, yeah. If, okay. if you want to watch the Ned Beatty scene, the Ned Beatty scene is literally live golf in the modern era about money, politics, power, and the media, literally. Wow. And Howard okay. Beale, have you ever heard? I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. 
Yes. You, are you, is that's that from real, Network. That's, that's from, from Network. Oh, that's from okay. Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that just gave you a little homework. So that teaches young guys. Yeah, you I'm teach young about. people golf. I teach young people 1970s cinematic <laughs> excellence. Right. Um, he is RJ Shepard. He's an Oriole fan. He's a Raven fan. He can help right. you with your golf game over at Forest Park. Appreciate Thank you, me. brother. All right. Stay well. And Thank you. When Thank we get you. To, Always a pleasure. Next time I see you will be the Orioles parade. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot Pratt about Street. that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Lombard and Pratt. We're gonna, oh, it's going to be okay. it's going to be so big. You're going to have to go yeah. both sides. I am Nestor. <laughs> he is RJ. We are WNSTA and fifteen seventy Towson, Baltimore. We never stop talking Baltimore positive. <laughs>